Hey guys, this is Doug, and uh, a couple of times, actually quite a lot of times, every time I post one of the wire boutonnieres that I do, um, someone always asks for me to post a video on how I accomplish it. So I am just doing a real quick video. Um, you're in my kitchen, so, uh, you know, sorry that for the lack of professionalism, but, you know, we work with what we got, you know? So, first things first, there are a couple of different styles. I posted a boutonniere last night that was really cool. Um, before I do that one, I want to show you there's one other style that uh, uh, several folks want me, to, uh, want me to show them how to do. And so I'm going to start with that one. Um, that uses five pieces of 12 gauge Oasis aluminum wire. And I'm cutting them to eh, not quite 36 inches or so across. Um, it takes quite a bit of wire, so you want to make sure that uh, um, you've got plenty for what you need. And first thing that you want to do is kind of find about the middle of the wire. Now, this isn't an exact science. You don't have to be exact with this. So. Um, what you want to do is you want to have a flat surface, um, plenty of space to work. Um, you kind of want to get your um, you want to get your wire so that it's lined up. You see that I've got the colors here: the green, I've got strong pink, purple, then strong pink, and the lime green again. So the first thing that we're going to do is find about that center point, and we're going to fold it, lay it, lay it flat, and fold it bring it across. Now what you're going to watch is here, these guys are going to kind of get messed up, but that's okay. Just kind of keep them so that they're not going to get mangled. And then finish your, uh, finish your fold. Now if you're holding your, pressing your fingers down, holding this in place, you should have a really great line like that. It's going to be nice and smooth and it's going to be nice and flat. So hold on to the hold on to the bottom part of this fold as you continue to bring it together. Keeping it flat against the countertop. All right. So that's how you start. Now, the next thing you want to do is you the the first boutonniere that I showed, um it was at symposium, I think uh last year in Chicago, um, it kind of crossed back and forth. And that's kind of what I want to show. So you've curled this over, you want to bring it around the opposite direction. And this side, the exact same thing, making sure that you keep all of your colors lined up the way that they're supposed to be. Now you can see that this is starting to kind of have a curve. I don't really want that. So realistically, we need to manipulate this wire just a little bit. So that it stays going in a straight line, that back and forth pattern. Once you've got that, curve it around. Keep it flat and go back the other direction. Now, here's an important part. Right here, this Oasis wire is starting to get a little bit mangled. It's starting to get out of order. You want to make sure that as you fold it, it stays the green, pink, purple, pink, green, or whatever color it is that you pick. It helps that I've got strong hands so that I can hold on to this guy as I, as I manipulate it around back to where I need to be. All right, so the same thing. Let's say we're gonna do three folds in this. And there we have it. That, that's, that's, that's just a beautiful line right there. Now, you would finish this by cutting them short, making them into kind of cool coils, 